One of the biggest issues facing entrepreneurs is time. So not having enough of it and how to allocate it. And the truth is, most entrepreneurs spend almost all of their waking hours either working or thinking about the business, which in turn leads to burnout. You're not going to make good decisions. You're going to lose your passion. So really critical that we address this. So I want to introduce something today called the entrepreneurial time system. This is a Dan Sullivan concept. And what I love about it is its simplicity. And basically, what it prescribes is that you look at your entire year and you basically break all the days in your year into one of three types of days. And I'll spell them out for you right now. First type of day is something called a free day. The second type of day is something called a focus day. And the third type of day is something we call a buffer day. So a free day is a day when you do absolutely no work, no phone calls, no emails, no business reading. It is a 100% no work day. Okay. Now, these three days are what you want to schedule first. Let's say you decide you're going, you want to get 30 of your days. You're just going to start circling them on your calendars, scheduling those right up front. Okay. And making sure that those are sacred and there's nothing that's going to come and interrupt those for you. Okay. So, absolutely no work for 24 hours straight, clears your head, gets you to reset. And it's actually going to help your thinking become a lot sharper because you're going to come back into the business with different ideas, <laughs> new ideas, and you're going to be recharged and you're going to avoid burnout. All right, let's talk about focus days. So a focus day is when you spend 80% of the time during that day doing work in what we call your unique ability. So this is going to be different for each entrepreneur, but... You know, it could be things like for some entrepreneurs, it's literally locking themselves alone in their office, just thinking about strategy, what's best for the business. For others, it could be out there being a speaker, being a spokesman, promoting a message. For others, and again, it may be building relationships, building strategic partnerships, doing sales, having those big conversations. You get to decide what that is but that's going to be 80% of your time on that focus day. That's where you deliver the most value to your business. You're driving huge value on focus days. You want to schedule those second, get those in your calendar, make sure you got those uh, going. And again, you get to decide sort of as a ratio, maybe it's again, another hundred days of the year. So you're going to make sure that your buffer, your focus days are there. Maybe they're midweek. So you're kind of building up to them and so on. Third type of day is a buffer day. So a buffer day is when you are working directly with your staff and getting them up to speed with things like you're training them, okay? You are getting them aligned around your vision. You're basically helping them to become a team so that they can support you on your focus days. So all of the work that they're doing is really to make sure that you have great focus days, because again, you're the primary value driver, presumably, in your organization. That's when you get to do your best work. You want to make sure your team is properly trained and aligned to support you on your focus days. So kind of more of a manager on these days. Um, and you may be working a little more in the business these days, just making sure everything's up to speed. So again, just, just pick the number of a buffer days you need to make sure your, your team's on track and to support you on the fo those focus days. So what I love, again, is this is really super simple, three types of days, three days, focus days, buffer days, helps you know how to focus your time at a high level, makes you make sure you avoid burnout by scheduling enough free days into your schedule, makes sure you have plenty of focus days where you're doing what you love to do, what you're great at, stuff that's in your unique ability. So that is the entrepreneurial time system. Again, a Dan Sullivan concept, but applicable to any entrepreneur.